Alomingalaba. Uh, on my blog, I'm gonna do this one in English, by the way. On my blog, I'm starting a new series, which um, I and I guess I'll do it both ways too in the future. But um, I started off by translating a poem, a very simple poem, only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines from Burmese into English, and um, I will only. I won't go through the grammatical analysis here. You can see it on my blog post, which I'll put in the link below. Um, so I'm just going to read the poem first in Burmese and then give you a literal translation and then the translation that I created. <coughs> the song is called Chitu Yinkwe. Chitu Yinkwe means um, the bosom of the lover. And um, when I translate it into English, I I um I translate it as um, from from the heart of a lover because you know from the lover's bosom it just it didn't ring with me very well so here's the poem Chitu Nindi Taiwe Toro Mala Naha Ninchi Dao Li Yuigu So U Tai Nida Pena Ate Li Diamwa Here's the literal translation. Lover, you're like this. Are you going to go? I, to your little feet, both holding on a new little shoe. That makes about no sense in English. So um, this is what I rendered it as in my translation. My love. You are to yourself an individual true. Are you leaving? For I am not, but your new little shoe grasping tightly to your precious feet. And uh, I just kind of like this poem because it uh, it's very innocent, it's very basic, nothing too fancy about it in the Burmese. And uh, you know, it doesn't have to do with sex or anything like that. It's just it shows the devotion of this person to his lover, to whomever he cares about, enough that he is saying he's like a shoe grasping onto her foot. So that's all. Thank you. Goodbye.